Okay, I have a bit of a short video for you today. So what I wanted to do was kind of set the stage for a series of upcoming videos where I'll be testing and reviewing each of the stoves from the Bushcraft Essentials line of wood burning stoves. So I have displayed in front of me all of my Bushcraft Essential stoves, one of each of the five models that they have, plus two additional versions in titanium that I'll share with you. So what I'll do is just start with the smallest one and work my way up through it. Just give you some basic information and some of my initial thoughts and of course the whole idea of this is to see or give you information that you may find helpful in deciding whether or not you want to purchase one of these stoves. Okay I'm going to close in a little bit so you get a better look at them and we'll go through each one. All right, before we start looking at each of the individual stoves, what I wanted to do is just to give you enough of an overview to look at each of these stoves and decide it's, whether or not it's something you may want to purchase. But of course, that's based on a couple of things. What is your intended use for these stoves? Even the smallest, the outdoor pocket micro stove will boil water, but it probably won't be very good for cooking much in the way of a meal. The largest stove, however, the XL, will certainly boil water and it will cook meals for multiple people at the same time. So bear that in mind if all you're looking to do is just boil maybe two cups of water for use with a freeze-dried meal, then just about all of these stoves, including the micro, will fulfill that need. But if you're thinking about cooking larger meals or meals that take a longer time to cook and require a bigger pot to, to cook in, then you're going to have to work your way up to the larger stoves. Okay, let's start with the smallest, which is the Outdoor Pocket Micro Stove, also known as their EDC box stove. And I know when I first looked at this, I thought, this has to be a joke. It has to be a novelty item, just something that they put on their website for people who would like that little collector's piece. But I couldn't have been further from the truth with that. This is a fully functional wood stove. Now, keep in mind, it has its limitations. Look at the size of it. You can't do a whole lot with it. But I have been able to boil two cups of water within a reasonable amount of time. It was no speed demon, but I could boil water with it. And it just took a lot of feeding of small sticks to do that. It also works perfectly with the Esbit tablets, hexamine tablets, so it is a fully functional little stove and it's, like I said, very well designed. It's also known as an EDC stove for a couple of reasons. One is, it, I'll show you more of this in detail when we do the review on it, but each component in this stove has a small hole drilled in it that allows the whole series of parts to be hooked onto a small carabiner. It could literally be put in your pocket, hooked to your belt, hooked to your backpack, maybe a shoulder bag, so you'll always have it with you in case you need it when you weren't prepared for, like you weren't planning on cooking a meal, but now you really want to have some hot water for a coffee, tea, or just a hot drink because it's cold and you're not as close to home as you thought you would like to be. So it is a functional wood stove, and again, we'll look more at it later. All right, the next stove in the lineup from Pushcraft Essentials is the original Pocket Bush Box. And this is the one that started it all for Bushcraft Essentials, and it is still a very valid stove. Now, they have a lot of designs that they have moved to since, but this one is still a very valid, good performing stove. You know, I have seen some reviews online where people have found fault with it, and it has its quirks, and it, you have to understand how this stove is designed to work, what its limitations are. It it won't do everything. It will boil water for you easily, quite easily, very easily in fact, boil two cups of water in a very short amount of time. It is also designed that you can use with an alcohol stove like the Trangia and of course you can also use hexamine or other uh, Esbit tablets or hexamine tablets with it as well. It's a bit heavy. This one is in stainless steel, but it, the precision engineering and the design of this, it fits together very well Airflow is very good th through it, but as I mentioned, it does have some limitations. So we're going to take another look at this stove. Another thing about this one is now available in titanium. I had about uh, half again as much, maybe not quite twice as quite the price of the stainless steel version. So if weight is a consideration for you, but you're still looking for a compact stove, enough to cook for one person or two people if it's all you're doing is boiling water, then this is still well worth looking at. And again, we'll take another look at that at another time. Next in their lineup, and this is still a very, very valid stove. This is the Pocket Ultralight 
stove from Bushcraft Essential made of a spring stainless steel. You know, when I first looked at it, I thought this had to be designed primarily for use with a Trangier or another alcohol stove because it just looked more like a, a pot stand and a windscreen than an actual functioning wood stove. But as you can see, I've used this a few times already and it performs way outside of its weight class. It, there's a lot of variations and versatility in this small stove. It does work very well with an alcohol stove. Again, it also works well with the Esbit or other hexamine tablets and it is very very lightweight folds down to nothing uh, my only thing about it so far is that it's a bit of a trick getting it together there's a learning curve because of the spring steel and holding each of the three sides together while you also place the two trays in it it takes a while to get uh, get the hang of putting it together but once you do it goes together very well it's very sturdy very stable and a very good performer as well moving up the line and personally I think this is the one I would carry most often and that is the bush box LF standing for large folder now this is not the sequence in which they were designed and produced this one came after the XL version which I'll show you in a second but this one seems to hit the sweet spot in terms of size this will do all the cooking one person can ask of any wood stove and more this would you can stretch it for cooking for multiple people if you're looking at in terms of how long it takes you to cook the meal you're preparing and how many people you're cooking so that of course will determine the size of the pot or maybe multiple pots that you're switching on and off the this stove it folds together very flat as you've probably seen again I'll show you more in future videos the one thing and this is my personal stove that I purchased myself the one thing that I, I would say about this in stainless steel extremely solid but quite heavy for its size. So I do appreciate this stove. I love taking it with me. I had wished it was a little lighter, that I had a lighter version of titanium. Now I do, and I'll explain in a minute. But this is a good choice, all-round choice, for, I think, for most people. However, having said that, you can't go wrong by choosing their XL version, standing for extra large, of course. This is the king of the hill, if you will, for Bushcraft Essentials. It is super well designed. It's identical in design with just a few variations to the later to produced LF model, but this is the one that will do all your cooking. I, it really doesn't matter how many people you've got. Once you load this up with wood, the this can be used for extended periods of time, very easy to refeed and refuel. You can put good large size pots on this you can cook large meals with this and still very conservant of wood so it's not like you have to build a big fire you can still keep a really manageable size fire inside of this and uh, you know it actually makes pretty much like a, a small fire pit for you know enjoying a, an evening's fire and around the around the fire pit you know in, instead of an open fire you could work with this because of its design, it is quite safe to use in dry conditions. You still have to pay attention to fire safety and using wood stoves, of course. But, you know, the one thing I can say about this one, and this, again, is my personal uh, one that I purchased, one thing I can say about it is weight. It's not a lightweight stove by any means, but it is durable. It is certainly a heavy-duty, well-designed stove that will last for at least a good generation or two, as long as it's taken care of, and that's true of all the stoves. Okay, moving on. Well, maybe I should go back and say the two stoves that I personally purchased were the LF and the XL. And it was the LF I purchased first and then I had an opportunity to buy this one afterwards. But I reached out to Bushcraft Essentials to let them know what it is I had wanted to do and that I wanted to do a comparison test of all their stoves and just kind of explain where they fit in terms of choices that people could make for stoves as well as to point out any quirks or any uh, unique things that people needed to know about each stove. So they were really good and sent me five stoves that I added to my collection. So five of these stoves I did not purchase. They were sent to me by Bushcraft Essentials. That included the three earlier versions the micro, the original pocket bush box, and the ultralight. But they also sent two more stoves to me, the titanium version of the LF, and oh my goodness, this this is 
this is to me, I think it may be my favorite of all the stoves that I have. It's, it's well, you know, perfect size, lightweight, still has all the benefits of the other stainless steel version of it. Uh, this is the one I probably would find myself carrying more than any else. Now, I've only just started testing with this. I have not had a fire in either of my titanium stoves yet, but I'll have those or quite a few fires before I get to doing the review. And they also sent along the titanium version of the XL. Again, wow, what a stove. You know, it's, it's uh, I think they say, you know, you get a 40% weight reduction on, on between the two stoves. So, you know, it's, it's considerably lighter than, than the stainless steel versions. And, but how long do they last? Will it make a difference in titanium in terms of durability? I guess that's what we're going to see during the testing of these stoves. All right, so that's a brief overview of the five different models from Bushcraft Essentials. And again, I will be bringing you videos on each individual stove. I guess what I wanted to do at this point is open up to you your thoughts on the Bushcraft Essentials line of stoves. Do you have any of these stoves? What are your experiences with it? What are your criticisms, if any? And let's see if we can address those in each of the videos that I do eventually. What do you like most about these stoves? And anything else you want to share in terms of these stoves? I know I've had a few people ask me to do comparisons of these stoves with competing models from other manufacturers. Well, at some point, I think that's something I can do after I've done all the initial reviews. If that's something you'd like to see me do, then mention that in the comments section below. Okay, until I get out in the woods where I can start testing these stoves for real, get out and explore yourself and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.